81 lands, the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, OG Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. My name is Laura Perella, and I have had the pleasure of working as principal of Warren Collegiate over the past year. I would like to start my welcome with a thank you to the graduates. Entering a new school community as an administrator can be a very challenging adventure, but I have to say this was the perfect year to join Warren Collegiate. You are a truly phenomenal group of young, young people. From my very first visit where students opened the door to welcome me into the building, to the teamwork it took to pull off this incredible setting together, I have witnessed many small and grand gestures that show you to be strong, independent, kind, and encouraging leaders of our school. In the halls and in your classrooms, you help other students in their studies, lend an ear and a kind word when someone is having a difficult day, and stand up to be an advocate for someone when they need it. On special days such as Crazy Olympics, you demonstrate terrific school spirit. As you don your, uh, don your pr and proudly wear your team colors and encourage your younger peers to get involved and have fun. In sports, you don't give up. You show tremendous fortitude and drive, but with kindness. When your teammates make mistakes, you pat them on the back. Tell them great effort and focus on the next play. You are passionate about causes outside of our community and help through support and education. I've often believed that the grade 12s in a school are largely responsible for creating the atmosphere that exists. Because of your actions, Warren Collegiate is a school space that is safe, where everyone feels that they belong. I would also like to thank the adults in the lives of these graduates, the parents, families, teachers, and community members of these young people. It does take a village to raise a child, and you are the village. As adults in thriving small rural communities, you lead by example. You volunteer for such events as your local fall supper, with your churches, coaching, or on the multiple boards that exist. People from small communities lend a hand. In our building alone, teachers have donated over 2,000 hours this year to provide opportunities for our students outside of school hours. So thank you to all of the adults for being a village. Looking at the stage today, we have a lot to be proud of. I would now like to call upon Mrs. Brad, one of our local school trustees, to bring greetings from the board. My pleasure to be here. I'll start over. It is my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the trustees of the Major Lake School Division and to extend congratulations to WCI's graduating class of 2016. As many of you know, this particular graduating class is very dear to me. I have had the opportunity of watching them grow throughout the years. A bit of history. Did you know that many of our graduates that attended the Warren and Woodlands Elementary School? were also the first to attend and graduate from a preschool program known as Woodrum. I would like to take a few minutes to discuss goals. Goal setting starts from day one and continues through our lifespan. When you were very little, you crawled or you bummed your, yourself across your living room floor. And before long, you were standing up along the sofa and you were taking baby steps. Soon, those baby steps became bigger steps, and you were walking and running across the living room floor. You were setting and accomplishing goals before you ever knew what that meant. You entered into the elementary school system with a very different set of goals. You wanted to make the lead part of a Christmas concert. Maybe you wanted to be a student rep. And in the end, it ultimately, you wanted to complete grade 8 and say farewell to your elementary school. When you, when you arrive at WCI in grade 9, you have a long-term goal, but you have many short, um, many short goals along the way. In grade 9, your goal was to find your place and fit in, and maybe make a volleyball or basketball team. And then you entered into grade 10 and grade 11, and you started to look at your overall grade point average. And let's just say you had a 60%, maybe your goal was to reach 70 you started to become involved in the different groups and volunteer. 
And all the while, you were preparing a resume or a portfolio. And here you are today. You have achieved the ultimate goal, graduation. And soon we will see where your high school resume came into effect. Just watch for the bursaries and the scholarships that these young adults are about to receive. <coughs> and very soon, guys, you will receive that high school diploma. And please never, might, never make light of this accomplishment. It is without a doubt one of your biggest milestones. In today's world, a high school diploma is extremely important. If you watch the career um, postings and job advertisements, you will notice that many of them ask for a high school diploma. It will help you to get your first job. And for those that are entering into the trades or off to community college or the university, you need to have your diploma in order to attend. <clears throat> the advice that I have for you today is to always know where your diploma is. And I'm going to suggest that you go home at some point and you scan it and you email it to yourself and you keep it in a folder. WCI grads, I am going to give you your last mental math assignment as a WCI student. Now quickly guys, I graduated in 1983. How many years ago? And each time I apply for a new job with the federal government, I am asked to show proof of my high school diploma. And all I can say is thank goodness St. Rose Collegiate have good quality paper, it hasn't disintegrated, and it hasn't yellowed. So guys, it's extremely important, 39 years later, to know who your high school diploma is. It takes a community to raise a child. Look around, that is so apparent. This arena is full of all that have contributed to raising our graduates. Let us start with the bus drivers. For the past 13 years, many of our graduates have been on the bus daily and have been with the same bus driver the entire time. Please know they watch, they hear all about you, and they celebrate your successes along the way. Our custodial staff. Let's face the graduates. I am sure that each one of you at one time or another over the past four years, have been in the school after hours. Maybe it was driver's ed, a choral practice, volleyball, basketball practice. And I am sure that you have had Jan, that you have heard Jan in her quiet, friendly reminder. Stay off my clean floor. Stay to the right. But what I can tell you is that Jan is one of your biggest fans, and she anxiously awaits to hear about every zones, regionals, and provincial you attend. The face that has greeted you for the past four years, our secretary, Lauren Brockwood. I'm sure you will all agree that she always has a positive quote for you, and always ready to give advice. And I don't think that I am the only parent here who has called her in a panic to ask her to please sign a commission slip so that my son can attend the field trip. To our educational assistants, library staff, staff, clinicians, administrators, and educators. You have provided the students with the necessary tools. What they do with them, that's on them. You have mentored and guided. You have provided counseling, and you have coached them. You have played a huge role in their lives, and for that, we say thank you. To the community members here ready to participate in the handing out of bursaries and scholarships, Thank you for allowing our youth the opportunity to volunteer and support them. And this is going to be the hard part. And now the most important group outside of our graduates, our parents and our guardians. Congratulations. You succeeded. You have fed them. You have clothed them. You have attempted to keep them groomed. You were their first educator and you will continue that role throughout your life. You have spent many hours assisting them at the kitchen table with assignments and studying. You have encouraged them. You've had to give them friendly reminders, or as my son calls it, nagging. And you have never heard a louder and more supportive group of fans. WCI parents and guardians are incredible. And now in closing, graduates, this is your day. Enjoy. And the mom and me is going to say behave.